Omiletu la imani Ya kwamba bwana ukatuweka karibu na wewe Ila kila siku, kila saa bwana tukazidi kukwelekea kwako Tukazidi kukujua zaidi Tukazidi kujua nguvu ya ufu lako Wakaweze pata fungu la neno lako siku ya leo Fungu la baraka ya neno lako siku ya leo Maisha yao yakaweza badilika Katika jina la Yesu Kristo, falme wetu tumeomba na tumeamini. Amen. Hebu tuketi. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Bwana asifiwe. Mulio nyuma bwana asifiwe. Mukikaribia bele bwana asifiwe. Naomba wale mabao mko kule nyuma mkaribie dio. Nasikia roho ya usigizi anatebea huko nyuma. Tafadhali toroka. Toroka abia huyo mwingine tutoroke. E, nyiji muna agariana diyo na ugeresha Unaona hivyo muna agariana diyo na ugeresha Wale muko huko nyuma Mshukuru ni buwana Kwa kuwa yumwe ma Kwa ma Awapigieni makofi wa meti Asanti hata kwa wale wamekata kuti kwa sababu mtati Tuko katika nyumba ya buwana Mshukuru ni buwana Karibieni tu, karibieni tu Ayumwe ima Kwa ma asanti, asanti Karibia tu Nizamile Uku kuna hitu wa Senti Margaret Wana asifue sana Praise the name of the Lord Siku ya leo tunasoma jinsi ya kumshukuru Bwana giving thanks to God for what he has done for us praise the name of the Lord Tazama alie karibu na wewe muambia mshukuru Bwana Muambia vizuri mshukuru Bwana Hata ingali hali ilivyo ya uchumi vile ilivyo tumshukuru Bwana Hata ingawa St Margaret tuko pale ambapo tumefika tumshukuru Bwana Praise the name of the Lord. One thing that the Lord was ministering to me is that all things, look at somebody, tell them, all things. Ah, uh, come on, somebody speak with a better spirit. All things work for good to those who trust and wait upon the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Kwa hivyo kanisa la St. Margaret kama mumekua mkimgochea buwana Kama mumekua mkimtumaindia buwana All things are working for good to the glory of God Praise the name of the Lord With our eyes we may not understand With our size we may not understand With our capability we may not understand But to the glory of God we understand Hallelujah Tell somebody understand for the glory of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Yote ya natendeka ili buwana katukuzwe. Hata vile uchumi ilivyo katika Kenya. Yote inatendeka ili buwana katuinue. Come on. Lazima uchumi ipande diyo uweze kuongezewa mshahara. Hallelujah. Lazima uchumi ipande diyo muache kutoa sadaka ya fefte. Ona munga tedu maga fefte. Ah. What did I say? Ah, come on. Abia uyo mikina lazima buwana atu inue. Hallelujah. Lazima inue maisha yetu. Lazima inue bama zetu. Lazima inue ndoa zetu. Na sisi tutaziti kumuabia ni asante. Tell somebody stop complaining. Ah, muabia acha kununika. Acha kununika mafuta. Acha kumununika mze Acha kumununika salona Anza kumuabia bwana ni asante Ni nalipa salon miatatu Hello Ama wanawake tutanyoa Ni tukweja Umeona hata mmoja amenyoa Na mwajira mwote ya tuika itoga siya gai Na muna niyabia siya mugu wa nalainua Kwa nini hamjanyoa Kwa nini hamjaza kufabu Kwa baso ni mzimechaka Ni kwa sababu Bwana anawainua To another level Stop complaining Tell God thank you 
you for where you are taking us. Na wakati umepata moyo wa shukran. Wakati umepata moyo wa shukran, utaweza kuimba nyimbo za sifa sio kwa sababu sinaimbishwa, sio kwa sababu simepangwa, ni kwa sababu Bwana amekutendea. Praise the name of the Lord. Kwa sababu ya moyo wa shukran, hautakuwa unasukumwa kukuja PCMF, unasukumwa kuja guild, unasukumwa kuja kwaya, utakuwa unakuja kwa sababu unajua nenyonete, nenyonete, nenyonete. Utakuwa unakuja kwa hii kanisa mapema. Hata wale ambao mumeingia kanisa saa tano kuheni na moyo wa kushukuru Bwana mtakuwa mnakuja mkisema I have seen the Lord I will go early in the morning and say thank you Praise the name of the Lord Bwana Yesu apelee sifa la wakati hauna shukran wakati hauna shukran umwaiona Mwaiona mzee ambaye hana shukran kwa nyumba Niwaambie video anakaaga na msiseme ni huyu wangu. My day sija ku introduce gain the inokako. Hallelujah please just say, just say hi to the church that's my handsome. Please just say hi to the church. Amen that is Mr. Washington wako. Asante kwa kumpigia makofi hao wengine ni makolo lakini ni wako. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Umoyo na mzee ambaye hana shukran apikiwe vizuri hana shukran Na by the way kama umekaa karibu na mzee mwabie wefutilie kuka kani thank you Jifunze kutoka leo kusema ga asante Amwabie vizuri sema ga asante Amoma uh, come on please preach to somebody Tell him please jifunze kusema asante Unaona mnakuja hapa mnatupikia na mnapika na condition vio boss yoshi Wakati unaona bibi yako anapika chakula anakukalisha ukule unaletewa maji anaosha na bado unamgoja kama on sema asante Si wewe unashidwa kumaliza hiyo package yote Sema asante Ah come on I expected the ladies to shout amen You know the Lord has done so much for us. Akalia wanawake ambao hawana shukran. Ulimtoa kwako kwao akiwa hana kaguo kakubadilisha. Ukamleta kwako, ukamrebesha. Sasa yeye anajua mpaka salon, anajua style, anajua fashion na huyo mwanamke anakushikia hivi kama kikombe ya mtoto alikuja kwako na guo lakini saa hii mpaka ukivuja glass anakuambia giradhi ya kwa ora gatia na alizipata zote kwa hiyo nyumba praise the name of the lord wanawake tuwe na muda tuwe na nafasi ya kujua kusema ni asante you know what i am trying to bring something every time i have told my husband thank you he has always done it again why everyone want to be told Everyone want to say want to hear thank you hallelujah praise the name of the lord hata wakati alininunulia guo nilijua huyu juzi nimempata mahali kwa kaduka akinitafutia kiatu nikamwambia asante imagine alirudi tu pale kwa ile kona yote shiragia alirudi tu kwa ile duka niliona ulifurahia viatu za hapa nimekuja kukubaiya kengine some of us why we are where we started is because we never give thanks for the little that we received My dear sister, I want to encourage you if you want your husband to take you to another level, to give you another value, say thank you for what you have today. I tell somebody learn to say thank you. When the leaders of the church give us a good leading, when they take us through a whole year Leading here the service has never failed everything is operational when we come to the end of the year before we give judgment let us give thanks before we judge them let us tell god thank you hallelujah praise the name of the lord i want every one of us to kitoka huku siku ya leo tuwe na roho ya kusema asante why 
Because we are learning today, not just telling everyone else, but telling God, thank you. Ambia mungu ni asante. Ambia mungu asante. If I don't say thank you to my husband, he will still do it again because I'm his wife. And it is his nature to make me happy. It is his nature to provide to me. But I want to tell you one thing. Our God has blessed you with everything. Mungu amekubariki na kila kitu. Amekupatia uhai. Amekupatia uzim. You know, you have good health. You are healthy. You have a job. You have a family. You have children. But you cannot give your son. You cannot take your wife. You cannot take one of your cattle. You cannot take one of your sheep back to the Lord. And the Lord is saying, I cannot judge you today because you are not faithful in giving thanks over what I've done for you. I'm Jakuwa wa minifu kwa vyale ambayo nimewatendeha. I'm Jakuwa wa minifu kwa kusema tu ni asante. Praise and worship I want to tell you. Kuna makanisa na inaga kuhubili. Watu wa praise and worship wanalia. Why? They don't have an opportunity to serve God the way you are serving here. Give God thank you. It is not just a kawaida thing. That it's a Sunday, it is evangelism, and you have all the service. You can give thanks to God. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord is saying, I cannot take one of your cattle. Why? They are all mine. Vyote mulivyo nazo ni za mungu. Kile kitu nafikiria ni chako. Hata hiyo pesa ambayo umefix kwa account yako. I want to tell you my brother, it all belongs to God. Hata hiyo mali ambayo ukonayo. Hata hizo ploti ambazo ukonazo. Hizo ngombe ambazo ukonazo. Mashamba ukonayo. Nataka kukuambia yote ni ya mungu. And he cannot take a portion of it. Because he all is his. He just wants you to come generously. And tell him thank you that you have blessed me this much. God is just calling you to come voluntarily with a cheerful heart and appreciate that he has given you. Ah, come on somebody. Wale ambao mnatumia muda of your of your katika nyumba ya Bwana. Ninataka kukuambia ya kwamba ni Mungu amekupatia huu muda. Amen. Tuko pamoja. Wale ambao mumechaguliwa kwa vikundi Umechaguliwa katika chairman, kama chairperson, kama secretary, kama treasurer. Don't take it for granted. Take a moment and come and tell God, thank you that you honored me with this. Thank you, oh God, that I'm in your service, serving you. There are many. We have buried elders. We have buried reverence. We have buried evangelists. We have buried gospel singers. There is nothing you have done to your maker that you are alive today. Come on, somebody. You need to have a timer. You need to have a gift of telling God thank you. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Bwana haitishi kitu kubwa or anything. Just a sacrifice. Thank offering to God to fulfill your vows to the most high God. Uliokoka ukambia Bwana, Bwana kwa sababu umeniokoa, mimi nitakutumikia katika PCMF, lakini unaonekana ngano veba wakati wa PCMF. Ulikuja kanisani ukatebea miaka mbili ukafuatilia Women's Guild za hiyo ulikuwa unanyenyekea kama paka ili ukaweza kufungwa kitambaa lakini baada ya kufungwa kitambaa tunakuonaga June siku ya Women's Guild I want to tell you my sister there is a God that took you along that journey ukamwambia ya kwamba utamtumikia ukamwambia ya kwamba utahudumu uta hapa species Saint Margaret God is calling you to feel Fill your vows to the Most High God. Praise the name of the Lord. 
wachana na zile vows ambazo muliambiana pale mkicheka mkinywa shai mkikunywa breakfast no please honor the vows you made to god ah come on please tell your neighbor honor the vows ah come on honor the vows that you vowed to god gaiti kemwana udhakaga na kiolio kwenda Mungu sio kijana walika yako. Wabia huyo mwingine Mungu sio kijana. Ah, come on. Mkikosa kuogea hivi wa chairman nitaogea kikuyu. Gaiti mulika guo. Kama unaelewa hiyo lugha abia huyo mwingine chairman siwe naelewa. Mwile gaiti mulika guo. Honor the vows. You vowed to God that you will serve in this altar. You vowed to God, God give me this tender. God give me this job. God give me this husband. Give me this wife. Give me a baby of my womb and I will serve you in the days with days without an end. Yet on Sunday you come and sit back, relax and enjoy. Wah. Wah. Praise the name of the Lord. Yuba ya bwana sio ya kukuja kukua entertained sit back and Habia huyo mwingine never come to the house of God to be entertained You better say this inasikia mnaataka mogithi There was a lot of entertainment last night sio mimi nimesema kiongozi nimesikia hapa bwana Yesu apewe sifa eh whether ni mogithi ya ya kigosho ya ke understanding ama ile ikine yoyote praise the name of the lord bwana yesu apewe sifa lakini najaribu kusema god requires us to honor the vows that we made let me be very honest with you you see the time of covid and i'm sorry to take you back to this You see the time of covid most of us made promises to god true or not true is it true or not true mungu naomba unipoje ukinipoja nitarudi kwa nyumba yako ukinipoja nitakuwa na kuibia na sasa hii unaambia kwa hapa piga makofi hata makofi makofi unapigaga tu ya kio ukipokea pesa hello hello You know those vows that you made. Please fulfill those vows. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. I am speaking this to you with all due respect because that is exactly what God is calling us to do. And he says, once we accomplish all this, once we do all this, call unto him. Hallelujah. Call unto him. In the day of trouble he will deliver you. Amen. Amen. Kwa hivyo wewe ambaye you are not delivered stop blaming the church. Hello? Wacha kusema wazee hawakukuja kwako look at your relationship with God. Look at how you are with your maker. Because the Bible says that once you fulfill your vows to God at the day of trouble don't call upon the elders don't call upon your pastor don't call upon your spouse call unto me i will deliver you hallelujah oh yes kwa hivyo hata wakati unakuja kutoa hapa hautolei wakubwa hautolei mchukaji hautolei elders unamtolea Mungu ili siku ya giza ukimlilia atakuokoa Praise the name of the Lord Bwana Yesu apewe sifa shida yetu wakati tumepata shida tunaangalianga vile tulikujiwa vile tulishikiliwa vile wali tutembelea by the way hakuna wakati Mungu alikuleta kwa kanisa ukiwa na shida ushikiliagwe anasema call unto me uh, did you hear that my sister call upon the name of the lord praise the name of the lord wacha kulilia watu ukiwaambia hapa 
ukisema siokozi sikuji nilipatwa hamkunisaidia eda ukabie mugu eh mugu nilitoa haukunisaidia eda kwake Praise the name of the Lord wacha kutuhagaisha huku na pressure na sukari ukituambia hatukukuja hata sisi tulikuwa na yetu hata sisi tulikuwa na mzigo kama hiyo yako kwanza yetu ilikuwa mzito abia mungu hanaga mzigo mzito ah come on abia huyo mwingine mwambie mungu mwambie mungu mwitie mungu bila kuogopa kwa sababu unajua vile ambavyo mmepelekana hakuna mahali umempiga chenga ulivyomwambia utafanya umefanya you can still call upon him praise the name of the lord bwana yesu apewe sifa na baada ya kufanya hivyo wapendwa tukumbuke ya kwamba anayetoa kwa uhaba aha e leo kimeshikana kunyita nile haleluya anayetoa kwa uhaba simumalizia anayetoa kwa uhaba eh ah lazima munisaidie tukimalizia anayetoa kwa uhaba anapokea kwa anayetoa kwa wingi uliza huyo mwingine we uko wapi Mwangalie vizuri mpatie haifai bodi uko wapi wewe? Uko wapi? Uko hapa kuna watu hawaogei. Mtaogea. Uliza huyo mwingine uko wapi wewe? Oh yes. It is very clear. Kama unataka kwa wiki toa kwa. Kama unataka kidogo acha stress. Toa hiyo kidogo. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. You know what times I get challenged. You look at the way we are dressed. We are dressed very well. Kama ni salon tunaedaga ile mzuri. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Eh kama ni kiatu tunavaaga kiatu mzuri. Lakini ukiona hiyo kiodo inakujaga kwako ni kama mudhoni. Unajua mudhoni? You know wale hawakanyagagwi. Hawa Ukiona hii kiodo inakuja kwako unashidwa sasa unaanza saa hiyo wanaume anategemeza kucha vizuri ndio iweze kutoa ile inafaa isikose lakini akilipa 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 nyama pale anatoaga yote hapa wallet praise the name of the lord akilipa taska pale anatoaga yote kwa wallet we jaza meza Jaza nini? Lakini akiona hii kiodo anategeneza kucha kucha usinilete down. We toa vile nilikwambia. Praise the name of the Lord. That is how we are taking our God. And that is what we are doing to the God that has given us everything. Tell somebody tutaokoka tena. Tutaokoka tena kuanza kumshukuru Bwana jinsi alivyo. Hello. Abia huyo mwingine shukuru Bwana jinsi alivyo. Wacha kumshukuru kama ye ni maskini. Wacha kutolea Mungu kama ye ni maskini. In fact the book of Psalms chapter 50 says if God says even if I were to be hungry I would not tell you. Did you read that? The Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter 50 verse verse 12 If I were hungry I would not tell you for the world is mine and all that is in it Abia mwingine atupeagi Mungu kwa sababu ako na njaa Usifikirie Mungu anagoja mutoe ndio alipe rent Ah 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 Hallelujah God is not waiting for your money for him to be called rich he is already rich Did you hear that church you can say a better amen God is not waiting for your money for him to become rich he is already rich Praise the name of the Lord So even when you are coming to give you are not giving to God for him to come down you are you are giving to God for him to come you are troubles down Unamletea kwa moyo mkunjufu kwa moyo ambao umefurahi kwa moyo ulio
iliyojaa furaha ili yote ambayo unamlilia aweze kukutendea and we don't bribe god we don't bribe god we don't praise the name of the lord abia huyo mwingine we don't bribe god no he does it because it is nature it's part of him to do it for us as his children it is us who do not fulfill our duty of giving thanks ah did you hear that church abia huyo mwingine lazima tumshukuru sasa lazima tumwambie ni asante could it be there are so many things that are going around in your life that you could have just eliminated in a day of thanksgiving in his sanctuary praise the name of the lord bwana yesu apele sifa the bible says upon our giving we call upon him during the day of trouble he will deliver us for him to be honored amen bwana yesu apele sifa Maybe some of our tears are just a thanksgiving gift away. Maybe some of our troubles with our marriages it's only that you never you took your husband for granted. You took your wife for granted. You took your dowry for granted. You need to come back and tell God, "Thank you that you have given me this marriage. Thank you that you have given me a wife." Maybe some of our children are suffering here with drugs and bang and what have you and it's just because you as a mother you as a father you received this child but never got an opportunity to come back to the Lord and say thank you for my son Bwana Yesu apewe sifa Praise the name of the Lord Tell your neighbor give thanks Just look at him in the eyes tell him give thanks. He is a God who carries away our troubles. He is a God who takes us as his own as his children and he has all that you so desire. You don't need to keep and telling people your troubles. You don't need to keep preaching about your troubles. The Lord is saying He is able to bless you abundantly. so that in all things at all times speak to somebody tell him or her in all things amwambie kwa mambo yote wakati wowote having all that you need you will abound in every good work amen amen imagine you don't need drama You don't need any drama in the church of God. You only need to give thanks to your father. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Just a sacrifice of thanksgiving and then the Lord will bless you in all things at all times with all that you need. Ah, hallelujah. Mambo ni magapi? Mambo ni magapi? Abia huyo mwingine mambo ni magapi? Mambo ni magapi? In all at all with all that you Ah hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why don't you just try this God? And you see the things that you have struggled with them for years. He is the God that I have talked about all things. Hallelujah. Not about some things. Not about some businesses. Not about some marriages. All things. You shall abound for good in every good work. Because he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store. Hallelujah. I wish I had more time. As I conclude you will be enriched you will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion ah hallelujah bwana yesu apewe sifa bwana yesu apewe sifa 
You will be enriched in all. Me, I wish I can be enriched in always, including in my husband. Hallelujah. Imagine ni kipewa muse, ni pewe au kesewe. Eh, you know, au kesewe. Ni kona yeye, au kesewe. Au kesewe. Usuruwake uo keseke. Mapenzi yo keseke. Mufuko yo keseke. Moko, ulilago wako. Hallelujah. You will be enriched in everything, in every occasion. And through us, your generosity will result in the name of the Lord. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. In short, mandiko inasema ya kwamba, utabarikiwa kiwango ya kwamba, hatutakuwa tunawambia siku ya thanksgiving, mutakuwa munatoa kabla hamjaitua. Semeni amen. Semeni amen. Hamutakuwa mnagoja siku ya sadaka, mutakuwa munakuja kutoa, kwa sababu kanisa imefunguliwa, kabla hamjaabiwa mutoe. Ah, can't you say amen? Can't you, trust, can't you trust God for such a time when you give without being reminded because the Lord has blessed you, increased you in plenty on all occasions, not on Sunday. I tell somebody, not on Sunday. As you be not on Sunday, not on Thanksgiving Day, not on the fundraising day, but in all occasions. Come on. Hallelujah! In all occasions. Iwe ni siku ya magedha, iwe ni siku ya musiba, iwe ni siku ya rusi, iwe ni siku ya district, iwe ni siku ya guilt. In all occasions, the Lord will increase you. And you will come here with the heart of thanksgiving to God. Rise up on your two feet. Hallelujah! You know what the Lord has done for you. And you know how much he has done. And I want us to sing with the help of the praise and worship. He has done so much for me. So much that I cannot tell it all. And when you realize what the Lord has done for you, please don't wait to be compelled. Purpose in your heart to give a gift of thanksgiving. To bring a sacrifice of thanksgiving to God. Be it today, be it tomorrow, be it on Friday, be it on Sunday, the Bible is talking about all occasions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, he has done so much for me that I cannot tell it all. Just lift up your hands. Lift up your hands and confess. For sure the Lord has done so much for us. Bwana ametenda makuu. Ametenda mapia. Ametenda makuu. Maisha ni mwetu. Hatuwezi kuelezea. So much for me. Oh, he has done so much for me. That I cannot tell it all. I cannot tell it all. Jesus, I cannot tell it all. He has done so much for me. That I cannot tell it all. He has done so much for me. Jehovah, just open up your mouth and thank the Lord. Open up your mouth and praise the Lord. Shekayan Baraba Baba Zaya. Oh, we can't take care of Zila. Makura Baba 
Isaac and Jehovah. Oh, you have done so much for me that I cannot tell it all. I cannot tell it all. Thank you, thank you, Jehovah God. Just open up your mouth and tell the Lord thank you. Just open up your mouth and tell the Lord thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jehovah. Just give thanks. He has done so much. He has done so much. He has brought us this far. He is Ebenezer. Just tell him thank you. Tell the Lord to help you to give thanks. Tell the Lord to help you to give thanks. An acceptable sacrifice of thanksgiving before the Lord. An acceptable gift, gift of thanksgiving before the Lord. I want to speak of a brother in our midst. Ambaya ali muahidi buwana akimpatia kazi. Ata mletea zawadi ya shukran and my brother you got that job as you had prayed but you did not honor the vow you did to God and from the time that you got that job you are earning a salary but you have not moved from the level you were ni kweli ya kwamba uko na mshahara lakini Maisha yako haya jabadilika kamwe. The Lord is saying, honor your vow that you vowed to me. I will bless the work of your hands. The Lord is calling you to honor that vow that he may bless the work of your hands. Thank you, Lord. We give you glory and we give you praise. Mama, before you think of parting in that marriage, my dear sister, before you, you get to a point of leaving that marriage, come to the Lord with a thankful heart. The Lord is calling your heart to be cheerful in that marriage. The Lord is calling upon you to be thankful in that marriage. He, he will save it. He will save your marriage. Just be thankful. Just be thankful. You are even unable to sing in church. Because you don't, you feel your heart is always loaded when the praise and worship is going on. My dear sister, come to the Lord with a thankful heart. Come to the Lord with a cheerful heart. He will save your marriage. Our God is never bribed, but he is calling us to thank him for what he has done for us. 
He will increase us. He will enrich us. And we will abound in good work. You are God. You're not a man that you should lie. And today you have spoken to us. Lord Almighty, about giving thanks. Each one of us today can honestly say you have done one thing and another in our lives. Even being alive, even coming this far of this year, dear Lord, it took your hand. Some of us, you protected us from accidents, oh Jehovah. We want to say thank you. Some of us, we got, we got caught up in cases that almost finished us financially. But you saved us. We want to say thank you. We want to say thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Abba Father. Umetupatia kazi, Jehovah. Umetupatia wake. Umetupatia waume. Umetupatia watoto. Umetupatia vibali. Umetupatia huduma. Mungu tunataka kukushukuru kwa asante. May you sensitize us, oh God. To have a heart full of thanksgiving. That even as we observe the Thanksgiving Sunday. Lord Almighty along this week. We shall meditate upon your goodness. Upon your righteousness. Upon your sufficient grace. And come back with a gift of thanksgiving. Help us Lord to thank you. Help us, Lord, to praise you with a new song of thanksgiving. We worship you. We honor your holy name. Thank you, mighty God, for the leadership of this church. God, even as you lift them to the leadership of a parish, I pray for wisdom. I pray for wisdom. You shall give them wisdom to lead St. Margaret Parish to the level that you have desired it to be. Unite them together because where there is unity, you command a blessing. I pray that God Almighty, you may unite the leadership of this parish that you may command a blessing of this parish. They shall grow over and above their expectations because you have blessed them. We thank you, Lord. We honor you. We worship you. Be glorified in all that they are doing today. In all the occasions, Father, receive all the glory. Could there be anyone in our midst, dear Father? that has not known you as Lord and Savior, we pray that you may persuade them. Persuade them with your mercies. Persuade them with your love, O oh God. Jehovah, that they may know you and the power of your resurrection. We thank you, Father. We give you glory for this word today. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Say a better amen. amen. Say a better amen. amen. You can give a shout of praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. Give a better shout of praise to Hallelujah. the Lord. Give a better shout of praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you, you so much. Amen. Amen.